All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at this week's meal prep. Um, this is Seth, and just want to show you guys what I do, um, what I find easy and healthy and affordable and gets enough of a variety. So my big thing is lots of protein and then healthy starches and just things that taste good, like little toppings and, you know, side items and stuff like that. So let's just get into it. So I... I do a lot of ground beef. I just do ground beef with ground beef with salt, pepper, um, chopped white onions. Cook that down, and then I can add taco seasoning to this. I can make tacos. I can make quesadillas with ground beef. I can do like a, a protein bowl with any of this stuff. Um, so add this to rice. Put a little beans, some of the street corn. You'll see that's like you know salsa, sour cream, a uh, little shredded lettuce, shredded cheese. And then there's your your, your Mexican style protein bowl. Um, you can do like teriyaki sauce and Asian sauce, and then do like uh, some like uh, kimchi, some pickled stuff, whatever. And then you have like an Asian style bowl. Or I'll take this and I'll do a chopped cheese. So just heat it up in a pan, put some cheese on it, throw it on some toast. Now you got like a chopped cheese sandwich, kind of like a cheeseburger. Um, this rotisserie chicken. So I just get them already done. They're cheap. They're done. Pull it apart. Throw this on a protein bowl. Do chicken quesadillas, chicken tacos. Do your Mediterranean bowl. Um, and then that's that's what we do with the chicken. This is kofta. You can use all different kinds of, of meat. I just use beef with chopped white onion, parsley, some like uh, Middle East type spices, Mediterranean spices. And then I broil these or you can fry them in a pan. And put that with naan and then some of the tzatziki sauce, which I'll show you guys, and some of the um, cucumber tomato salad. And that's amazing. Uh, chicken salad made with uh, homemade mayonnaise, which I use olive oil. Um, this is extra virgin. I definitely shouldn't have used that. <laughs> I don't. I forgot I had um, other kinds of oil that would be better, but it's still it's still really good. Anyways, so chicken salad. Sandwiches, put it with some lettuce, put, you know, whatever you want. Um, sweet potatoes, I do these in the Instant Pot. So I usually eat about a half of one. If I'm really hungry, eat a whole one. Um, and that's great just on the side with, you know, wh whatever you're eating, ground beef, the chicken. Um, white rice, uh, do that in the Instant Pot as well. Um, supposedly white rice after you refrigerate it and then heat it back up. It has better... Um, um, glucose response in your system. It doesn't spike your blood sugar. It doesn't have um, anti-nutrients like brown rice does. Macaroni salad. That's just with the homemade mayonnaise and the dressing I make for that. It's kind of the same as the chicken salad dressing. Is the macaroni salad dressing. Same with tuna salad, potato salad. Um, street corn. So this, it's just roasted corn with some spices in it. Some people add mayonnaise to it. They add cotilla cheese or a different kind of cheese, but that's perfect on your protein bowl or even just as a side dish. Um, cucumber, uh, tomato with some red onion, and then um, it's got like a Mediterranean dressing in it. This is awesome on your um, kebabs or on your Mediterranean bowls or just as a side, side item. Chopped onion, I do a lot of finely chopped onion when I eat hot dogs, so I get these sabret uh, Sabret hot dogs or whatever you guys like, and then just load it up with onion, sweet sweet relish, pickle relish, and uh, a good mustard, Mr. Mustard, or, God, what's the other one? This one, I think, is even better. This Burtman ballpark, amazing. Um, and then I ran out of milk, so I couldn't make the Mornay sauce for mac and cheese, so I'll get that either later today or tomorrow, and that's just, you make a roux, you put... Uh, I, I use raw milk, just whole raw milk, and then a blend of um, Gruyere, a little bit of Gouda, Swiss, some cheddar, and then that's your Mornay sauce. So you can mix it with the pasta or just keep them separate until you're ready to eat it. And then this is tzatziki sauce to go on the kebabs on your salad. This stuff is amazing. It's um, uh, cucumber. And you gotta squeeze all the juice out of it, and you mix it with whole yogurt, uh, you know, um, yeah, whole milk yogurt, um, garlic, lemon juice. Um, God, 
squash, a couple other things, salt, pepper, and that stuff is just ridiculous. It's it's really good on anything. Um, and then other food that I don't really make from scratch anymore, although I used to, is uh, yogurt with blueberries, a little green granola. Uh, I used also put ground a mixture of ground um, flax and chia on it or in it. It's supposed to be good with some healthy fats. Grapes, I eat a lot of grapes. And um, the hot dogs, they're easy. So breads, they're the best. Um, the naan I used to make, and it's such a pain in the butt, but this is really good. It's like pita bread. I prefer this kind of bread over regular pita with kebabs, eggs, scrapple. Um, I pre-make bacon for my son. He loves bacon. I like it too. So I'll just cook basically a whole pack of that at a time and then can reheat it back up. But yeah, so this just makes it really easy to, to, um, to eat. I mean, you can take a lot of stuff and just microwave it. If you pre-cook these kofta, then you just got to heat it back up and, uh, everything else you can take. I like, I never know what I want to eat. So I just put them in separate ingredients, but you can take these same dishes um, and then just parse out your meal. So you can put, you know, sweet potato in it, um, you know, some, some chicken, some rice, you know, put your street corn in there, whatever. And then that way you just can throw that in a toaster oven or a microwave and heat that up um, if that's easier for you. But this is a diet alone now. I do want to um, change it up a little bit or at least add to this. And do some high protein casseroles. So I'm doing some um, some investigating and some research into those that would be economical and taste good. But yeah, this is what I'm working with. All right, thanks for your time.